Well, truckers, meantime, are protesting a new state law today at Southern California ports. The law was created to provide more benefits for gig workers, but self-employed truckers say it requires them to jump through hoops to prove their independent contractor status. Nancy Lewis, News Nation's Nancy Lou is live for us at the port of Long Beach. So, Nancy, could this impact the already strained nationwide supply chain here? A definite ripple effect, Nicole, and uh, the truckers, as you know, the backbone to the nation's supply chain here in Southern California, a protest action by hundreds of independent truckers disrupted operations here at the ports and definitely wreaked havoc on L.A. traffic. There's a, an extension of traffic now that uh, goes back miles and miles. We look about 400 independent truckers have been backing up traffic on local freeways for hours all day. The outrage is over AB5, the California labor law requiring gig workers to be considered employees. Court challenges have failed to hold off AB5 in the trucking industry, and now more than 70,000 independent truckers throughout California could be forced off the roads. Drivers say they prefer the flexibility and that employee status limits that. The job action in Southern California is expected to go all day. It's a cry for attention and a cry for help here. We want state legislators to take notice of what's going on and do the right thing while they still have the opportunity to do so. The state has not yet indicated when enforcement of AB5 in the trucking industry may begin, but drivers fear it will start soon since the Supreme Court refused to hear a challenge from the California Trucking Association. Some independent drivers are already talking of leaving the profession or working in other states. Union supporters say AB5 means protections and fair compensation, so it is time for transition and enforcement. The Trucking Association uh, has had two and a half years uh, to, to do something that, that, you know, they couldn't do. And it's time for transition. It's time to actually, you know, consider uh, the workers. Despite the action of hundreds today, the majority of the port's 18,000 truckers are rolling today. Protesters suspect their missed shifts will result in several days of catch up. Nicole. Oh, yeah, that wide shot of the freeway there, Nancy, really told the story. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.